Name. Uh, John Peplo. Role of the GCB. Uh, Club and Programmes Officer for the South. Who's your favourite work colleague and why? Uh, it's really difficult to say. I, I don't particularly have a favourite. Um, I think all of them have got strengths and weaknesses. I, I, there isn't anyone there who, who you really would think, Lord, I'm, I'm not going to get on with them. Or um, They've all got strengths. You know, Theresa, Steve, if you need to know stuff. Sarcasm tends to come from you, which, you know, uh, can, can brighten up, the, cheer people up a little bit, a bit of a laugh. Uh, Gaz with his honest appraisal, Eric. Well, Eric knows everything about growing grass. So you know, within that, within the team, um, there's a lot of skills, uh, and also, and and they're all very likable people. So it would be very difficult to to, to pick one person out and say, I don't, I, I don't get on with them. But you know, that's how it is. Least favourite and why? Well, sarcasm, as I said, you know. Uh, I'm not keen on people who support Liverpool, which is majority office, actually. Um, I think when you look at it, people sing in Blue Moon to wind me up. Uh, other people have been known to sing, you'll never walk alone. Those sorts of things cause a lot of animosity and, and heart, heart, you know, heart, it's heartbreaking sometimes. So, you know, those people who do that, I hope they're listening and maybe, you know, they can change their song. Okay, John. Club name. Sorry? Cricket club name. Old Down Cricket Club. Okay. Who's your favourite club member and why? Uh, there's a, there's a, an old guy there, John Welsher, who's been with the club for donkey's years. He, he's been quite ill recently, but for, he goes to every game. He makes sure he's the first at a bar. He buys you a pint. He loves cricket, sport in general. And he's just a fantastic bloke, really. Um, and if you ever want to know any, the club's been around since 1843. And I think John's been there for most of it. You know, he knows everything about what you need to know about the club. So, yeah, John would be my favourite person, I think. What's your favourite away ground? Oh, that. There's so many nice. I do a lot. I do umpiring now, um, and if you you know you look at Sheepscombe, lovely clubs in the north. Not quite so many picturesque clubs in the south, but what you've got are clubs that that like I I really like going to Rockhampton, mm -hmm. the small pitch there because there's a bit of character about it, and it, you know you've seen when they do the sixes, happy memories. I like going to St Mary Redcliffe because I taught there for years. And, you know, just to, to go around, meet people that I knew. Uh, and I think it's about the people, not just about the ground. So, you know, uh, I don't particularly have a favourite ground. I, there's some grounds that I enjoy going to because of, it, of the people I meet. Uh, it's nice to have, you know, picturesque but it, uh, grounds, but it's not, that doesn't happen quite so much in Bristol because of, of the urban setting. So, uh, yeah, the, the, there's lots of lovely grounds in Gloucestershire, aren't there? Yes, yeah, fantastic. Favourite away tea? Oh, my favourite away tea, I'll be honest, will be the next tea I have because um, I'm trying to lose weight is one. Um, and basically, if the next tea I have means we're playing cricket again. So, you know, it's quite important to me that, uh, that we do that. Um, the best tea I've had since I've been in the area was, I hate to say it, was at, at Clifton College. <laughs> they also offer you a glass of wine and a beer and tea. Not that while well, I was umpiring, I didn't, I didn't take it, but but th that was a fantastic tea. I, it was just a sort of three-course meal, really, more than a tea. But uh, I think, generally speaking, teas, teas, are, teas are good. Teas are good. Who are your biggest rivals and why? Uh, what, within the, the, the old down? Yeah, yeah, I think the biggest rivals are probably Thornbury and Alveston because they're in the nearest clubs. You know, Thornbury, a much bigger club, Al Alveston uh, are coming up in a, a, a slightly smaller club. But um, the relationship between all, all, the, all the three clubs, I think, is good. You know, there's always uh, it's always difficult when when you know you, you're vying for the same players or you, you're looking at youth youth cricket. But um, yeah, I think Thornbury and 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 Alveston because of the the geographical. Uh, Okay. What's your escape from cricket? Uh, it, it's sport, really. Uh, you know, if, if it's not cricket, it's football or rugby. Or I, I talk PE and I love sport. Uh, in fact, I go as far as to say that I can't think of many friends I've got that don't like sport. If they don't like sport, I tend not to get involved with them. You know, uh, 
plus my family. I'm now a granddad and uh, I'm looking forward to, to Woody playing a bit of cricket in the not too distant future. And, you know, I found my son is captain at Old Down this year, first team captain. And he'll probably be maybe the only captain that goes through the whole season undefeated, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, my life is, it involves a lot around cricket, but actually sport is, is also my another release that I have and the family who are very important to me. Okay. Finally, what's your favourite ever cricket moment? I've got, well, professionally, the World Cup last year is my favourite. If, if someone said professionally, yeah. Next after that would be when Lancashire won at Somerset. They won the league after 70 odd years. And I was there. It was when I first retired from teaching, I went down there. Um, from a family point of view, a couple of years ago, I, I, I was playing down in Devon on tour and I, I got a 19 not out. And the day before, I'd got an 11 not out. So I was quite chuffed. I phoned our Sam and said, How'd you get on? And he got 108 against, I think it was Bishops too. So I was really proud of him getting 100. But I suppose, personally, my, my, my uh, proudest moment was when I got the uh, Chance to Shine Award, thanks to the nomination from you, really, and the board. Uh, it was before I got, I worked for the board and got involved. And, it, you know, it's, it's great when you get some recognition for, you know, the, the, the work you're putting in as a volunteer. So, yeah, that, that, would, be, that would be right up there as well. It's probably the proudest thing that's ever happened to me. So, yeah. John Peplow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chris. All the best. And to everyone out there.